Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, made possible by RBDR's exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform Patreon.com. If you're a regular viewer of our series, please visit Patreon.com forward slash RBDR where you can find out how you can help us continue to help you. I'm Bob Lederer. There's word out of Australia that the unfettered access to personal data and control of it that's been enjoyed by Facebook and Google uh, for years is perhaps coming to an end. Now stop and digest what I just said. Australia is trying to tame the social media giant's use of personal data. It's all because the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission is on the cusp of taking actions that it says will change the core business models of Facebook as well as Google. Rod Sims, the chairman of the commission, says he's going to be fighting for the privacy of Australia's social media masses. And that will mean sweeping changes in the country's privacy laws. That according to newspaper reporters David Swan and Supratim Adhikari at The Australian, and more importantly, there will be a, quote, lifting of the lid for the first time on Facebook and Google's secret algorithms. Now, until now, those algorithms have informed those and other social media giants of what consumers like and don't like, with information so specific that the social media service has been able to glean insights into how to sell things to those people. The Australian Commission is recommending that a regulator from the group be appointed and empowered to investigate, monitor, and report on how large digital platforms such as those from Facebook and Google rank and display news and advertising content through their algorithms. Now, those algorithms have been as secret as the Coca-Cola syrup formula. That little is known about what is in them and how they function. Sim says the regulator, whoever he or she turns out to be, will research the algorithms to learn about their outputs, and they will also find out from Facebook and Google about the respective algorithm inputs. Sims also states that the two social media services will have to comply with Australian laws, and those will include somewhat expensive penalties for not following through. Consumers have had no control over what happens to their data after they post it, and in specifics, who it is being shared with, how it is being used, etc. Sims is also promising that Facebook and Google users will gain comfort over what happens to their data. Now, if that comes to pass, Australia's 17 million monthly Facebook users and 19 million daily Google users just might feel more control over their data. And here's the bottom line for me. If Australia accomplishes those endgame goals, in other words, it forces Facebook, Google, and the rest to spill information that is needed for privacy control, well, will the EU in specifics and the United States, perhaps, follow Australia's lead and take steps to gain the same social media giant oversight? To be continued. That's your Research Business Daily Report. It's been made possible by members of our exclusive community on the crowdfunding platform, Patreon.com. RBDR is produced thanks to the interest and the support of those like yourself who view our daily news videos. We make it a point to acknowledge our new RBDR patrons because these are special individuals who are showing their support for us just as we are providing valuable information to them day by day. And today we want to express our appreciation and our thanks to Beth Lutz. You too can join our community. It's very simple. Visit patreon.com forward slash RBDR. You can see it right on the screen to my right where you can select the level of patronage that is both comfortable and suitable for you. We thank you in advance for your participation. We hope you have a great research day, and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow with the last RBDR for 2018.